are you doing with the roller coaster ride of 2020? The Bank of England is the latest central bank to take action to support the economy during the coronavirus outbreak. The U.S. weekly jobless claims jumped due to the coronavirus layoffs. The Federal Reserve is likely to significantly boost its government bond purchases beyond the $500 billion minimum it committed to. And the Trump administration is considering intervening in the Saudi-Russian oil price war with a diplomatic push to get the Saudis to cut oil production. Welcome to the Tickmill Update. I'm Kiana Danielle, the founder of the Invest Diva movement. Make sure to subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel and support us by liking and sharing this video with your Forex trading friends. We have entered a new level of uncertainty and doubt. However, there is more opportunity than ever in the Forex market as long as you can tolerate the risk. The US dollar re continues to remain king. Today I'm looking at the dollar yen pair, which is following a similar path as the dollar Swissy pair that I covered yesterday. The pair has just broken above the daily Ichimoku cloud after bottoming out at 101. However, if you look at the big picture, you'd notice that the pair has continued to create lower highs since 2015. These are not ordinary times though. So we could see a break of this trend if traders continue to turn to the US dollar during the pandemic. That could bring the pair up to the recent highs of 112 and perhaps even higher. Now, which direction do you think the dollar yen pair will take next week? Head over to the comment section and let me know. Of course, trading in the financial markets involves a risk of loss and you should only trade the money that you can afford to lose. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel. I'll get back to you with more updates next week.